Hello, Global Gladiators, and welcome back to Street Masters Rise of the Kingdom. Today, we're going to be taking cover and trying to stay out of the crossfire in the stage Supply and Demand. This stage is basically being stuck in the middle of a firefight, and there are going to be places for you to take cover, and you're going to want to utilize them because every single round, something is going to be coming at you. Whether that's bullets, cats, or the flying pies similar to when my mom took me to an anniversary of the Three Stooges, you're gonna need to make sure you're watching your back. First things first, we need to put the loot tokens on the board because those never change. And then we need to take a look at the stage card to see what kind of requisites we've got. So the first thing we can go looking for is what to do with the objective tokens and whether or not they should be in play at the beginning of the stage. Turns out, by looking and seeing that we're going to be looking for contraband cards. And those contraband cards are the ones that are the objective tokens. We only need one per player, which means the rest are going to get shuffled back in. This typically means that the objective tokens are going to be placed onto the stage on their inactive state. And hopefully we'll find some more information out when we look for a distribution network and pin down. Also, you'll notice there's an activate and an interact. and the description of the cover icons, but no real definition as to what they are, so we're going to have to look at the other cards to find that out. Let's put the tokens on the board. Let's look at the purple and maybe the green. I don't want to spread the objective tokens out too much, especially if I get a choice, because the enemies are going to be pushing them all around, and if they make it back to their entry space, I lose the objective token and possibly lose the stage. So I want to keep them close to one side that's more easily defendable. Now we've got to look at the stage conditions and that really gives us the flavor of this stage. Distribution network, if there's ever five power tokens on the card, the power tokens come from losing the enemy objectives. So it's going to move the whatever chosen enemy you've got for the number of inactive objectives on the table, three spaces towards the objective. And from the stage card, we can see that they just need to brush up against the objectives to pick them up. Exhausting may seem like it's gonna work in your favor, but it's not. Exhausting is gonna put them in one spot and then their activate from the stage condition is gonna move them towards the exit space, trying to run away from you and it's it's really difficult one thing that also makes it difficult is pinned down so every cover space is either if you're standing on one you get to get a random defense token so that's great but if you're not you take direct damage if you take direct damage as we're about to see when we take a look at the objective cards you drop the objective that doesn't just go for you, that goes for the boss, that goes for everything. So as you can see in the first sentence, it says, after a figure carrying contraband is damaged, they must discard a defense token. This does not count towards power. This is a, a discard of a defense token, so it gives you no benefit. Another wording to be keenly aware of is the second paragraph that says, after a figure carrying the objective is within a space, of an entry tile. Being within one space of an entry tile is not the same as being on the entry tile. So you have to defend three to four spaces for each of those entry tiles or they're gonna run away with the contraband. The best defense you've got is the interact option on the stage rules. You can run over and discard the objective token and the card will get shuffled back into the deck. So really early on, you're going to want to run as fast as you can towards the objective tokens and try and get them off the board using that action. It's going to be tough because you'll only be able to use card actions for that round, but it's necessary. Don't forget you have the sprint action, so you should be able to reach that side of the board and get on top of those tokens to block them if you utilize that as your very first turn. Usually your first turn is just putting down some tactic cards and you can't really do too much either. So the second turn being able to eliminate the objective tokens and start handling the minions and maybe go get some loot tokens, this is a pretty good strategy. Once you've done that, you're going to be down some health and you're going to be getting hit from pin down. You want to start thinking about where do you want the enemies to start coming from. 
I would suggest going down towards the bottom of the map because that is the furthest away that you could be from the objective tokens from this layout and start boxing them in from these two locations. These are cover spots and not only that, every time a minion comes from a spawn point it's going to immediately engage with the fighter and move off the spawn point clearing it for the next one. Hopefully that means that the upper spawn point will never be activated and you can keep all of the minions in a cluster. This is not a stage where you want to do a lot of running around because it is so difficult because of pinned down to hold on to those objective tokens. You're going to want to maybe make it easier on yourself by using a less mobile boss. I would not suggest using a wand. Use a boss, if you can, that is going to not have a retreat action and hopefully will come down closer towards you. The people that are in the kingdom or the golden dragons, those are some options that might make it a little easier. But I think you'll have fun with this uh, stage no matter what. There's a lot going on but it's not terribly difficult to figure out. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave them, and don't forget to join the Facebook page for the Street Masters fans, because that's where a lot of this discussion goes down. Have a good one.